still no frogs. Still no frogs in the pond. At least I haven't seen them. And I sneak up and look to see if any motion happens. So I'm not seeing any frogs jumping in the water or jumping out. Um, I want to talk today about prayer. Um, specifically praying for those people who have passed. It's something that Catholics are taught to... No! No, 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 no. Don't start pulling at lily pads. Sorry. Don't mean to... No! My legs got those little black things. They are solar. No, no. Activated. And they... Uh, when they... No, no, no. No. Hey, 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 hey. No. Oh, man. I took it out. This thing. And water will squirt out of there, so it's kind of neat. It has solar panels, so as it gets hot. No, Gus, we're going to get you another pond. I'm going to... My hope is to pick up another pond like this, a pond liner, and put it down over there for Gus that he's allowed to get in. Um, he can't get in there because my wife put lily pods or whatever you call them. Flowers plants in there and he would just tear that up so anyway uh calyx are taught to pray for the dead to pray for those people basically who are in purgatory which is biblical biblical um in the old testament certain soldiers were told to pray for the dead comrades and as i said what's the point if they're in hell doesn't matter if they're in heaven they don't need it so it is obvious. It's simple logic. Oh my gosh. You know, you Christians. Some of you Christians are so... Uh, what's the word? Um, stubborn. But so uh, frustrating. You say you know your Bible and you read your Bible. And then you, uh, you interpret it in your tradition. Instead of the uh, interpretation of the church... Who Jesus in the Bible we read, Jesus gave the church and Peter the authority to speak for him on earth. What you loose on earth, what you loose in heaven. But they don't read that. Anyway, this is, I digress. We're supposed to pray for the dead, simply put. And so uh, remember to pray for. Those people who have died, your loved ones, is uh, occurs to me. You could certainly, I've got, I've been doing that, and I've got a list now. Obviously, people don't stop dying; they keep dying, and so my list is a list of some. Oh gosh, it must be a hundred names more. I don't know, whatever, hundred names. So. Perhaps what you might do instead of having a list that long, even though it only takes. 10 minutes including in my morning prayer but if you only wanted to pray for say four names a day and then take your list and then in 25 days you would dedicate your prayer to those four people if you have 100 on your list it would take 25 days and you would have prayed for each of them let's say today you prayed for uh, Uncle Bill, Buffy, Jody and Mr. French I don't know um so we're supposed to pray for those people who died. So pray for the dead because we don't know where they are. And assuming if we make the assumption that they're in purgatory, they need our prayers. And that's all you need to know. So do it. <laughs>